Good day, good day. <laughs> I lost it. My uh, camera ran out of uh, memory. Yeah, wouldn't you know it. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I don't know if I'm going to splice it, or make another video or whatever. But anyway, oh, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, the growing pains of a YouTube channel. Well, welcome to Roverland if this is a separate video, which it possibly will be. <laughs> How the heck are you? You just got to laugh and roll with it. But anyway, uh, the story is we got a Fast and the Furious Land Rover Defender 110 hardtop. Yeah, just got one of these and uh, opened it up because my friend Colin, he got me three more and some more uh, Velars. So, uh... I bought one. I did actually find one in the wild. So there you go. You're up to speed on the story. And uh, on camera, yeah, check out the other video if I have to. I'll put a link up there. If it's not, uh, I was able to splice it together. And anyway, let's move on. So I opened this bugger up. <laughs> so I got to the point where we did actually take this thing apart. We looked at the interior. I'm, I'm going to kind of backtrack a little bit here. But, uh, hey, if you love Land Rovers, you're okay with that. I did happen to notice that this piece here, they didn't rivet it, but it does have a, uh, a tab piece that fits right into that little notch there. Uh, so that kind of holds on there. But, uh, yeah, so we're uh, two pieces there. And at the end of the video, I was uh, trying to explain that uh, Mattel... Uh, via that's uh, Matchbox and Hot Wheels, they were uh, telling them that they had to make their and design their cars with what four pieces uh, the metal body or a body, windshield, interior, and base, and then the two wheels. So, that uh, for a mainline, that was their standard that they went with uh, the cost savings, whatever, whatever. So already, uh, we're seeing that this thing has got uh, quite a few more parts than the regular um, mainline. So that means to me that we will probably never see this car in mainline unless they're doing something a little bit different. Because here's two pieces, and that's the interior and the grill. Then we come to the... Um, the main body, which is metal, and there's a lot of metal to it, and the glass just falls right out of there, and that's a big piece of glass, too. Um, you know, that's back windshield, uh, even though it does have uh, no windows on the sides. I don't know if they're planning on making one with uh, windows on the sides or not, but there's, you know, a closed cabin, space for the uh, rivet to go through, but... Uh, but then two, now, so that's, you know, we got one piece for the body, and um, then the glass piece, so that's two more pieces, we're already up to four pieces, and then this is the top that goes on to it, and that clips, see how it uh, it's grooved there? So you have to uh, set it down in the back, and then push it forward. And it locks in then it won't come off otherwise if you have it back then it just pops right off yeah so there's these tab things here if you can see how they just kind of channel into that channel there so yeah there's one two three <laughs> And then uh, four, five pieces already, and we haven't even got the base wheels on. And so then this is the base. Three prongs to uh, hold the axles in. Of course, these are real riders, so they, you know, the main line wouldn't have that. But if they ever would do a main line, uh, boy, it's going to be really tough. But uh, metal, metal base on that, we already kind of looked at the, the base already. But uh, beautiful, heavy duty. You know, you pay for these. You know, uh, Wisconsin, you know, it's four and a half dollars. No, excuse me, five and a half dollars. 
plus tax. So, uh, you know, you're paying, you know, five and a half dollars. But I mean, I, I, I'm not balking or complaining. That's a good price, I think. You know, you're getting, you're getting what you uh, pay for. And I think people uh, agree with me that the premium lines, and I think that's why they do so well, if they make, you know, decent models that people want, they will sell out. Um, sometimes, in my opinion, they kind of overdo it with some models and uh, flood the market. So, uh, you know, there's some peg warmers. But, uh, yeah, people don't mind paying for quality. People don't mind paying for quality. Yep, not everybody's cheap. But if it is cheap, then, you know, that's all right. So there we go. We finally got the total review done of the Land Rover. Defender 110 hardtop. So, uh, yeah, have you got one yourself? I uh, posted, uh, hey, I got one of these on Facebook, and you got quite a few folks have uh, got them yet. I know a couple of people overseas has had to pay. Uh, I hate to think what they had to pay, but they had to pay to get uh, some over there. They've gotten some, but uh, like I say, you got to, if you're a collector, you you got to have one, and uh, there you go. So hopefully in my adventures, I will get more of them, but right now, I had to sacrifice this bad boy so you wouldn't have to sacrifice yours, so you could see what it is. This is a kind of a model review. Um, check out the other part with the unboxing from Colin. Hats off to you again, Colin. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the package I sent you, and uh, yeah. Trade on, brother. Trade on. All right, there we go. We're going to call it a video. <laughs> I don't know how it's all going to turn out in editing and stuff like that. We're <laughs> working with, uh, yeah, a beginner's budget here on the, the old YouTube. So, all right. Thank you very much, my friends. This is your friend Dano. Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.